Hey, what's going on? Uh, today, we are here at my friend Sequoia's house. We're going to be installing his new Pile Cycle Series PLMCA30 sound system onto his ATV here. My buddy Brad is going to be filming and recording this all so you can see how easy it is to install, what it sounds like, and uh, that's about it. Let's have some fun. Alright, we have the whole box unpacked now. As you can see, we have a wiring harness. Right here, a bag of screws with all the nuts, bolts, and fittings we're going to need to put it onto the ATV. Right here are bar clamps with any kind of fittings that you're going to need to make sure it fits. Here are the zip ties. Make sure your wires are held together, not hanging off, dangling anywhere. Next up is the volume control. With the end here to put your MP3 player, uh, plug it right in with a little extra room so you can move around, not worry about pulling your speaker apart. Here we have two weatherproof 200 watt speakers, nice chrome, bullet shape, kind of fast, it'll look good there on the bar handles, and the heart of the whole system, a 400 watt two channel micro amp. We're going to be timing ourselves next to see how long it takes to throw this on the ATV, but first we're going to talk to Sequoia about the vehicle we're putting it on. And this is my 2003 Honda 400EX, it's been a great bike, it's got an FMF exhaust, Nerf bars, and I'm stoked to get the new stereo for it. All right, we have everything we need. We're going to start the clock. Sequoia is going to start throwing the sound system onto the bike, and go. All right, step one, we're going to install the speaker onto the bars. We have our clamp right here, little rubber insert so you don't scratch your bars. It stays snug in place and doesn't go anywhere. Just fit the two clamps together like this. Put your rubber in. Goes through the bar. And here we go. So far the only tool we've needed is this single Allen wrench. And we're done. Alright, well we got both speakers installed here. Before you get them all tightened up and everything, make sure you have them aimed where you want. Sequoia has them aimed right at his head, so we get maximum listening potential. Next we're going to install our micro amp. We're just going to try to find a good place for it before we do our wiring and get it all connected. Sequoia decided that he wanted to do it under the seat here, so we're going to pull it off and be putting it right here by the air filter. It's going to be nice and cool and dry. Alright, now we're going to get this micro amp secure. Sequoia's got his drill here. We're gonna put a little mounting hole here on the back of the pan, and after that, we're gonna set up all our wiring. All right, it's all tightened up. I think all we have to do now is start running our wires for the battery and the speakers all together. Okay, right now I'm just running the wiring through the frame, how we decided from the handlebars back to the mini amp over here. Run it under. The frame here by the gas tank and out over here by the air filter so it's ready to plug in. Next we're going to plug the wires into its little wiring harness. And remember your black is your negative, red is your positive. You're going to match them up real simple, real easy to just slide right into place and they click in. Now we're running the other side, Sequoia is running it under the frame here under the body panels. I'm putting on the last of the zip ties here to the handlebars. The zip ties do come in the box so there is nothing needed outside of the box to purchase. Alright, so we decided to mount the volume control here right under the speaker. It's a nice cherry little spot. Easy volume adjustment while riding right next to your grip. Now we're running the wires back under the frame where we'll connect them together. The one from the speakers and the volume control over to the amp. Alright, we're going to tie it all together now. We're going to plug it into the volume control right here. Runs back to the micro amp. Then we're going to run the power from the speakers. Plug it in right here. Easy, done. Next step is hook it all up to the battery. Alright, the kit came with this standard American battery harness. If your bike is metric and you don't have that, it came with these two little options here to hook them up to the terminal is real easy. Alright, we got everything hooked up, batteries all ready to go. All we have left to do is clip some of these ties, 
turn it on, Let's see if we're live. We got power. Let's check our time now. 34 minutes, 52 seconds. All right, everything's ready to go, hooked up. We're ready to ride. Let's take it for a cruise and see how it sounds. <laughs> Thanks for watching our video on the PLMCA 30 by Pile 